There we go. Two, three. We're live Hi guys. now. Look at that. Kyle <laughs> pointed it out before I did. We were <laughs> muted still. Oh, yeah. And then we also got to drop this down so Kyle doesn't have a glaring white screen on his face. Oh, right. Yep. There we go. There. That pretty face. Oh. Did you get troubleshooting problems? God. Right. Just trying to make sure everything's up to, up to par. I don't know. I don't like that halo effect around. You have you have magic powers, right? I'm Listen, just, man, we're dealing with the inner geekdom here. You're allowed to get superpowers every now and then. Hey, right? that's right. And this is going to be a good match. Adam Havoc, Eric Zipper, two two incredibly strong inner geekdom players. Uh, Adam has beaten the former inner geekdom champion Hector Navarro. Uh, he. He was soundly knocked out by Mike Kalinowski, but he he's a monster in Anarchicdom. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, like I guess we should explain a little something before we get too far into this. All right, some of you may have seen this before. Yeah, you have m might have seen this on this channel before because we tried to do this on Saturday and we ended up getting taken down for some. We don't. We never figured it out. It it was just some automated stuff. So. We're here to try it again. And we're, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're going to give it the, our, our best shot. So and we're going to start it from the beginning just so that way you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, you'll get a little bit of a recap. We'll kind of explain what's going on for the best we can remember. Because really after like the video went down, it was kind of crunch time to try to figure out stuff. So on, like, I remember some parts. But I can't say for what we watched, which was, I think, like 14 minutes. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get very far into the video. I so think we were, still... like, on question two of round one. Yeah. I, Something like that. I, I, I think so. That sounds so, about right. Really, all we saw was intros and all that. So we're just going to start it over, and we're going to enjoy this. And you're going to enjoy this, too, I hope. Yeah. And, and if you do enjoy this, don't forget to like this video and, you know. Yeah, like, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell i don't want to smash a bell what, what what about the liberty bell that has a big crack in it and we want to preserve it forever why would you smash that bell all right i'm gonna just stop going <laughs> off on a tangent now let's begin shall we uh down right the outlaw I and the legend be honest with you i'm not sure if i can trust you yet mm -mm. i wouldn't be with you if you did Right? Look, it's a long time ago. We have a long history. Yeah. We know that. Yeah, so how's this going to work? <sighs> Look. You're going to work together. Time. That's it. No more dope rope. No, 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 no. It's a long time ago. I know. I know. I know. Look, I'm here to win. You've got to base this on trust. you got to trust me. Mm-hmm. 
Trust is a lot in the relationship. Five, five equals. equals. Damn, Riley better be right about this, God damn it. I just, you can tell it makes him cringe. Yeah, because he's holding up you know, the five to Dagnino. You know. Dagnino, Roca, Dagnino, and Bateman all have very strong history together. That's why seeing them together in the Five Horsemen is so surreal. Yeah. Roxy and Mark at the table. Yes. Great, great orange suits. Uh, I want to make sure we don't get taken down again, so I have to pull that window up at least a little bit. So sorry for any like whiteness on Kyle's face. That's not natural. I, it's just, that's my superpower. I glow brightly. Right. That's what we get for being bigger guys. We're slick. We're sweaty. Especially under these lights. What? What, what did he say? R Rachel the Crusher cooking? Cooking? <laughs> so I'm sure Rachel's a great cook, but... <laughs> I know, right? Richie makes a great bolognese. Enjoy a Brody. That's probably a reference to something. I don't know what though. Master from afar with Eric's career seems like Eric wants more shots of corruption than he necessarily does winning any sort yes, of Yes, he he has a huge grudge with corruption. Mm -hmm. so huge grudge. Like you can tell, he's ready for vengeance. Well, it's like ever since they got defeated by by corruption when he was still with World's Finest, mm -hmm. that hit him hard. Oh yeah, I well, like and it then he, he said he was supposed to apparently. Grace told him that he was supposed to be the new leader of corruption, and Mike walked in, and they just kind of punked him. Like, haha. Yep. That's usually what happens too. They always try to pry on what the what you call go. the quote unquote weak ones. But I honestly. I mean, Ken and Grace as heels are like the most. They, they may, they may give Andrew Guy a run for his money as a top heel. Yeah, see, right here. Sorry, I was my headset was super loud. I was having a hard time hearing you. I'm here to get. To Mike Kalinowski. I'm gonna win matches until I can see the look on that smug son of a bitch's face when I finally beat him. It's been a minute since I've been here. So, so he, he's still Last kind of. Really good yeah, he, there's good in him. He's an anti-hero. He's willing to go the dark route to get there. He's an anti-hero. He's Deadpool. He's the Red Hood. I've been trying to get back and beat him for like, a while now. I mean, Kaiser's a shit. Who do you think? Who do you got for this match? He's gonna get me matches, and I'm here to, here to make a scene. I say, I got, oh, I got to go with Adam. Adam Malavik is he's he's one of the OGs in the inner geekdom. He is an OG, but I am one and one going into this match. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go with Eric Zipper on this one. I feel like, especially where he's come from, I feel like he's coming ready to play. Like, but then again, I could be totally wrong. He could get lost in his mindset. You know, that that's true. He might be too tunnel visioned right now. That'd be a lot of fun. He really brought he brought that good game the last time I faced him. But you know, sort of see how things would change this this time. Yeah, see, Adams kind of held his own with Mike I and care. I am coming for you. I don't care whether it's an inner kingdom, whether Eric it's really hasn't I'm had a chance. Sorry, I, of I still love the button pops whenever yep, it shows Eric I'm gripping up in the shirt. That was a great moment. <laughs> Look, I feel like this league is filled with one too many bad guys. And they, they won that match. Imagine if they had lost. Mm -hmm. How how bad he would have felt that he just ruined his shirt. As much as you think you want to and can beat me, I think you've got something else coming today. A beat down. All right, let's see what happens. I always love the music they have in here. Like yeah, some of it I know is copyrighted. Props to but their their Adam promo Adam editor. You got you do an incredible job. Right. Overlooking the city. Okay, I gotta ask, what's tomorrow's show? I, I honestly don't know. I think it's uh, revenge. It's on the, anger. On the back of her computer. Like said, short -sighted. Says the tomorrow the show. The oh. What's I it? don't know. <laughs> on a, on a these, these guys Something we might have to look into. Yeah. Kind of so it's a show that comes on tomorrow. Hmm. 
right? <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> never comes. Let's, let's put you in so does it ever air? Put you in the shoes of Kaiser. These are the questions we need to ask yeah. right now. <laughs> With Eric Zipper, is he is he considering <laughs> taking him? I up, have no is answer. This just kind of him playing with the inner geekdom league because we know Kaiser does enjoy his share of power. Listen, I don't think it's right what he's doing. I think he's testing Zipper right now, and if you want him, take him. What are you doing just testing the waters? I, I think it puts Zipper in a bad position, too, because now he has to compete for the love of a manager. Oof. I don't think it's fair. Yeah, that, he did get that is a little rough. In the inner geekdom realm, and this is something that yeah, I mean, Eric currently ranked number six. I gotta I say, though, Manager Roxy, like, late, on she's been today, on Collider Live a lot talking about what are these nerds uh, how she yes, feels I that do. Kaiser the isn't doing DC right by the Smasher. And yeah. And, like, she's the trying to poke the Smasher and bring him over to her group so that she can manage him. But then also... On Collider Live today, Jason Inman was yeah. said he'd come out of retirement to manage the Smashers. What? So that would be I, honestly, I'd love to have Jason Inman back. He was always yeah, a good competitor. I, I miss Jason Inman. Uh, I actually have his book coming tomorrow. Yeah, it, it releases tomorrow. So. It's, I can't wait to read it. Oh, man. And the, uh, the, the theme. greatest theme from the 90s. Right? This is what we thought had taken down the channel, but we don't think it is just because we got past this part already. Uh, Zipper. Magneto was right. Whatever. Yeah, just nonchalant just blow it off. Game. He's cocky. But I, I feel like he, he wants to play, you know, like. Yeah, I think, he wanted, I think he's, he's just, just tired of trying losing. to be just like the guys like, oh, I don't care, let's just right? play. F it, we're going to go do this, you know? He's fine. 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 The number three ranked competitor in the Inner Geekdom Movie Trivia Showdown Division. With a record of two and three with one knockout. What is this? Please welcome Adam. This sounds like a very familiar, like, white theme or something. I think it's. It almost sounds like it could be from, from Guardians Ju of the I think Galaxy. It might be from Justice League. Yeah. Out of Curry favor with the crowd, with us up here at the answer desk. This guy knows how to compete, Rocks. Oh, that might be from kisses. a Marvel movie. He's very good at blowing kisses and wearing sunglasses just on that second button, like cool guys do. Oh, I didn't know that that was a sign of that. That almost sounds like it could be Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe either that or. Uh, Maybe Captain Marvel? Maybe. I've never seen Captain Marvel, so I wouldn't know. See, the only soundtrack I've really listened to over and over again was uh, Endgame. See, for me, I love the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtracks. Like, even the instrumental stuff is... Oh, yeah. Uh, that, and that's yeah. why that made me think of Guardians of the Galaxy, because it sounds very familiar to one of those tracks. Alan Silvestri is an incredible composer. Please show what you All right, I guess we should get our uh, whiteboards. Whiteboards. right? Into the microphone so Roxy and I can hear it loud and clear. You each have three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. Three usages. One, two, three. Repeated. You just want to buy yourself some time. Use the JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any time in the duration of the match. We will be nice with you. Please be nice with us when we try to pronounce. It's weird. I should have just turned off the secondary TV. I read any of them combined. Is that right, Rock? <laughs> oh, it's definitely right, Mark. Oh, Never boy. read a Harry Potter book between the two of us. But we're ready to get here going today. Adam, are you ready? <laughs> All right. Shame. I'm ready. And Eric I'll probably remember these questions as soon as I hear them. But as of right now, I have no idea what question number one is. Let's get ready to down. Great attitude. Great attitude, man. All right. Asking the first question will be the legend in the movie trivia showdown. Mark Baby Carrot. <laughs> mm -hmm, he is. And a really nice guy. Got to meet him before, so. And your question is. He is a really nice guy. 1978's Superman. A lot of an attitude going on, even in the pen writing. He's got two. Question uh, received a, a snicker from Robert Butler the Third. Huh. And we go to five, four, three. Oh, got two, it. One. Pens down, Adam. <sighs> Richard Donner. It Richard was Donner. Richard Donner. Did Z-Man have it? I mixed him up with the second one. Richard. Donner. Okay. Question number two in the category okay. of Star Wars. In Solo, a Star Wars story, what is the name of? Han I do Solo remember this question, but I do not remember the answer. And Roxy, you are holding so I'm just gonna sit here nonchalantly holding my board like a badass, you know, thing to do. That is so impressive and good. But I still You're looking good too, chap. You're having a wonderful. Three, two. <laughs> Pens down, go to you first, Z-Man. 
Kira is spelled it in a way that totally Kira. makes sense. Kira, you almost got the apostrophe in the right place that Adam I'm not giving Kira. you those two He's points, just so you know. <laughs> you both get the point. Yeah. It's, it's QI. It's an okay movie. It's not my favorite Star Wars movie, but it, it's, it. a, it's, a, it's a good one. Middle Earth. And your question is, in the two towers, Mary and Pippin meet Treebeard after escaping the Urukai. Okay. What is the name of the forest they escape to? I'll give you this one because you got it right on the last time we did this. Actually, I didn't. No? Because I didn't add the last letter. Pens down, Eric. Adam Fangorn. I had Dark Fangor. Right. Last time. Uh, so I'm not Please going start. to count Never that one. You don't get the last three. Like, you didn't know the last three last time. No, you didn't. Fangorn. Come on, don't guys. lie, Kyle. Come on. We're <laughs> trying to be truthful <laughs> reactors here. Damn it. Uh, yeah, Boston, Boston. Question four. Heroes and villains. I think this is where we're... In Watchmen... Which member of the Watchmen team has No, it was after yeah, we, we made it to question this. five. Which if I'm not mistaken that's probably changed too. Wasn't this Yeah, well, I remember who it was. Fangorn. Five. Before I thought it was Rorschach. One pens down Adam. But it's Dr. Dr. Manhattan. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan. It was Dr. Manhattan. Did Adam have it? Dr. He Manhattan. did it. Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> And man. you got that one right last time, too. No, I knew the answer. I didn't have Manhattan written down. Uh, got to make sure you get it in that time limit, man. Yeah, yeah. I would blow all three of my JTEs in the first round because I need time to write. Who provides the voice of Juggernaut? Yeah, we got to this question for sure. I'm just, now I'm just patiently watching the screen. Waiting. I'm going to say Will I Am just for ha ha's. I was gonna say Vinny Jones, but he was the ju he was the, I'm the juggernaut. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut. In Deadpool two. And that was the one that was in like X Men two, wasn't it? Like part of the uh, original. X Men three. It was uh, Last Stand. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the one the where they one. brought Dark Phoenix in for the first time. Yes. Okay, yeah, I do remember that. We, we don't talk about that. I believe it's Ryan Reynolds. It is Ryan Reynolds. Does Eric have it? Seriously? He did not. What? So now with that. Lavik I didn't know that. Right? I think that might have been where it cut because we never got the answer to that. No. Oh. I would have remembered Ryan Reynolds plays the Juggernaut's voice. Makes guaranteeing that he'll protect Draco in the Half Blood Prince. Which is exactly why I don't read these things. I, but I thought it was great, right? It sounds intriguing. Don't get me wrong, but God, is it? It just seems dense. It's like a thousand pages. You don't like a good oath? That eight-year-old's reading. Five, four, three. Two, one. Eric Zephyr, did you have it? The solemn Let's just keep going. <laughs> the unbreakable guess, vow. Pretty close, <laughs> yeah, but not no. too far. Adam. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just playing manager and producer right now. Vow. Oh, I was Look at you, K-Wolf, getting it. I've listened to these audiobooks and read the books at wow, least ten times. Wow. Tell, us, tell us more about your personal moment. life. Simple divorce joke. <laughs> So, some people took it real personally. Yeah, some people. A lot of I nice love Harry Potter. New divorces yeah. here in the house. Well, I can't it's wait like till July when I actually water. get to go to the world. All right, move uh, to that the would world be so cool. Trek. I wish I could go. Star Trek. Even though I really want to go to California to go to Star Wars. Of the two films. Because if I'm not mistaken, Orlando has Die Harry Potter. Game. California has Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> that got the crowd back. Lost it with the whole marriage bit. <laughs> now they're back with you. Got him back All with you needed was some Kirk. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Adam, you're up. Star Trek Into Darkness. Star oh. Trek Into we Darkness. We can accept Star Trek Into Darkness. Does Eric have that one? Star Trek Generation. He had the other one. Star right. Trek Generation. I said Star Trek Three. I have seen that. That's the one I've seen. What generations? Uh, generations, because that's the one that has Malcolm McDowell and the Nexus. Ah, uh, okay. What do you want me to say? It's got an exclamation. Isn't point. it? Shazam! Thank you. Shazam! Wow. But nothing happened. I don't know. I still can't Five, four, three. You got to say it louder. Two, one. Pens down. Go to you, Eric. Philadelphia. 
It is in fact the uh, city of brotherly love. Adam? I said Chicago. Philadelphia. He I went total like point. other realm and said and Metropolis because I'm like, wouldn't Shazam be in the same universe right, as Superman and all that? <laughs> and if you're following us at home, that is the penultimate category in round number one. Is or does that just mean the Metropolis? Like where it was shot. The good bet that it's a oh, where it was shot. What Maybe. is Count Dooku's Sith name in the Star Wars saga? God. Born with a name, then you get a Sith name, which is usually cooler than your. I'm your nervous John to Oliver ask name. you to make a Sith name for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Scared. Five, four, three. Uh, I need a repeat, please. Yes, sir. What is Count Dooku's Sith name in the Star Wars saga? And that is Eric's second use of what's a clue for evil. Only one. I I well I know the name is right. I don't know if I yeah, spelled it right. It's true. Just sitting in your 401k. Yeah. Five. Four, All right. Four, Going with a guess here. Two. One. Okay. Pants the Darth down, Cookie. We are going to you first, Adam. Darth Tyrannus. It is Darth, Darth Tyrannus. Tyrannus. I completely blanked. He I said Darth Cookie. The cool sounding <laughs> dinosaur name, and so with that, <laughs> I was gonna Adam, say Darth Idius, but I'm like, no. Just one question left in round number one, Roxy. What's our final category? Well, for this All final right. category, it's coming from a patron of ours. Thank you so much to Jeremy Hasty. Jeremy. Jeremy Hasty. Well, I've heard that name before too, it, many yes. times. Really I've actually I've seen him appear on Take Three, uh, Take Three's reactions a lot. Okay, okay. Straight, straight facts here. Which MCU film features a post-credit scene featuring Captain America talking about exhibiting patience? Uh, just overall, as a person, do you like post-credit scenes, or do you find it tiresome to sit through a hundred movies just to see? I need them now. <laughs> I'm so entitled to them now. Five, I've earned it. Four, three, two, one. Did Eric have it? Spider-Man Homecoming. You did have it. Spider-Man Homecoming. I, didn't. Adam, unless he got it I right said Iron well. Man 2. Wow. He did. I, and I and they put the dashes. That's a very impressive Can't forget, can't forget the dash. Eric can't forget the dash. That's solid. Important. Adam, eight out of but, ten. yeah, that I've never seen Homecoming yet. Like, I guess that's on me. In the inner geekdom division, Rox, what do you think? I need to definitely watch more Spider-Man and MCU movies. Because he was taking this so seriously, and he wants that belt. We're seeing what it does it say public. exactly? That's right, and we're seeing this heads up. Back so to copyright. Oh, that second button, just the way God intended. We move on to round number two. In All right. Well, it doesn't look like it's been blocked yet, so let's just keep rolling. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Round two, baby. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, now we definitely got hit with the capper. Right. We give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. That point, the value of the question goes does go down to one point let's hope i do better this so, Adam, round you're up by three uh you can't it, it all depends on what category third. gets spun right uh must spin. he's gonna spin all right he's gonna grab it from the wheel i all thought right. he said best spin for a, yeah, for a second best and I, was like, best spin. I literally thought he got him it was like best spin i was like what <laughs> should we kick him out <laughs> Good spin altogether. I think All we right, to, good I think we spin. The, pegs. the spin is in, as Ken would say. That's right. Shocking pegs. Oh, oh, Ooh, DC. Close. Did they always have spinner's choice and opponent's and choice for strength, so inner geekdom? I thought they usually didn't have that for inner geekdom. I don't know, they do. And for that, we go to Roxy Stryer, who will be admitted. Well, it's just because mainly when Question the matches one. we've seen, where we don't see it, is most okay. of title matches. Star Wars they... plays this character in 1989's Batman. Oh. Lieutenant Eckhart. That is correct. That guy. I, am... and that's I was going to say the Penguin, favorite, but I'm like, no, that's Danny DeVito, isn't it? Did you guys yep. know that? Porkins was also Eckhart? <laughs> It's yes. fantastic. <laughs> I learned that, on, I learned that really on Collider is. Live. It's Eckhart. The guy's last name is Hootkins. This is great. <laughs> All great pronunciation. Number two. In 1978, Superman, after saving Lois from the helicopter crash, Superman apprehends a thief that was trying to steal what? A puppy. The Declaration of Independence. Jewelry. You know what? I Roke is laughing somewhere. Jewels, jewelry is correct. There we go. Two points. Hey, I, 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 I count it. Fact for you, that actor, 
that is the thief. He actually plays uh, Thomas Wayne in Batman 89. Now oh, he's just showing off. God, I thought you were going to go back <laughs> to Dang. the and I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> yeah. The next question. In Batman 89. <laughs> who voiced the Green Lantern, Tomar Ray, the lantern who first greeted Hal on Oa? I believe that's Jeffrey Rush. I believe you're correct. Well, well done. Yeah, he's well, just hitting this one out of the park. I don't, I don't I've, know I've never seen the Green Western Lantern movie. I've watched some of the shows, but I've never watched the movies. In 2009's Watchmen, what is the name of the newspaper to which Rorschach sends his journal? Wow. And that's deep. I, I've watched that movie several times. News. B. Mail Watch. C. New Mail Today. D. New Frontiersman. I'm going to go with New Mail Today. What about D? New Frontiersman. Okay. Incorrect. So Roxy's going to read the options again for Eric, just so you have them for the possible steal. A. Daily News. B. Mail Watch. C. New Mail Today. D. New Frontiersman. Uh, D. New Frontiersman. That is correct for one point. Got it. That was my so gut. That's some chat for Cable. I guess I, I I've never looked that closely. Here we right. Go. But that's how At deep the these questions of get, man. 2006's Superman Returns. How many years has Superman been gone? Five. Seven. Six years. Trying to price this right, me. <laughs> Five years. Five years is correct. Boom, Boom baby. Huge Huge close to the round. It looked like everything was going Adam's way for those first three questions. The last two, Eric suddenly steps up. Not bad. Not bad. I I I've only better? watched that one really once. All right. <laughs> Analogy to his last name. All right, Superman. Now you. <laughs> oh my God, that made me snort. <laughs> questions correct. Spinning from the wheel. Uh, that uh, that one got me. That that one got me in the Don't chuckle box. Adam certainly can't <laughs> of questions on his own, so Eric can't. Afford a trip up here. Without a doubt. Oh, we got. Now this looks like DCEU. Is he gonna keep it? He's holding his his mouth. Well, we've already had DC. We're, do we want to go to the extended universe? <laughs> it's not even called that anymore. No. No, I think it's just the DC film universe now. So the DCFU. <laughs> I don't think they're shortening it. That's. And right back, oh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. I don't think so. That was honestly that was the viral meme for the ages. Harry Potter have in common. We both have a. Oh man. It looks like a lightning bolt. All right. Unless they ask like who was like the five questions director of photography on the movies. I don't know. Which one of Ron Weasley's brothers? Works with dragons. Early. I'm like Eric right now. I'm like Bill. Ah. Bill. Excuse me. Bill. That is incorrect. For a two point steal, does Adam have it? George. Looking for Charlie. Charlie. Is there a Bill Weasley? Yes. In the yes. Uh, Charlie. He works with Gringotts. Ah. <laughs> you pulling out the <laughs> Gringotts now? Which is the bank, right? <laughs> What? Yes, yeah, yeah, the bank. Gringotts is the, uh, the bank. See, I know some stuff about right Mr. Here. Potter's universe. Or you, you can't manufacture that kind of oh. magic. <laughs> All right. Your next question in the world of Harry Potter. Gotta make my fellow Hufflepuffs what proud. What of wizarding candy includes a collectible card of a famous witch or wizard in every box? Duck with frogs. Yep. Multiple choice. Is it A, Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Bean? Which I will never a, do again. Frogs. C, Pumpkin Pasties. D, well, it's, pumpkin, it's, okay. I'm sorry. I got a problem with Pumpkin Pasties. Because automatically my adult brain just goes, huh. <laughs> I know what real pasties are, but I'm not going to tell you on this channel. <laughs> Third question. I was wondering. You know. In the world of Harry you know. Potter, uh, your next question. In the Goblet of Fire, who did Neville Longbottom take to the Yule Ball? Toad. Ginny. Ginny oh. Weasley. Little yes. Sister. Yes. Go to five. Multiple choice. Uh, is it A. Hannah Abbott, B. Parvati Patil, C. Patel. Brown, or D. Ginny Weasley. They're names I have no idea. Give the man a point. 
Slow He's and steady. Negotiating his way around uh, clearly is a more difficult category. I really need to update my like repertoire. Like I feel so behind. I'm just gonna strap you to the chair and we're just gonna I'm just gonna Tony, I'm just clockwork? gonna run movies through you. Just a clockwork orange style, man. Patience and loyalty. What animal is their house mascot? I know this one. Badger. It's a badger. Badger, 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 badger. Badger, badger. I am a Hufflepuff and I took the quiz twice and it, so it has to be true. Well, I haven't taken the quiz twice, but I took it once and it's that I was a Gryffindor. In the world of Harry Potter. I swear dogs love me. <laughs> what? <Harry Potter> <laughs> I wanted to slither in. Oh, you An armchair. Harry and Dumbledore when they come to ask him to teach again. Uh, uh, recliner, reclining chair. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tied at 14. Wow. He probably would have just accepted the chair. Face yeah. When he found out he was going to have to answer five Harry Potter questions, I would not have expected that performance at all. And he pulled through at the end there, too. Oh, so yeah, right. tied, tied it up. So it's anybody's game right now. I honestly thought this was going to be a little bit of a TKO territory. Like, get into round three, but... Where it, I mean, it, it's it could still end up that way. It depends on it's a lesser chance though. The, the questions and if someone gets something wrong. Yeah, for sure. Questions worth two points. Your next one's worth three points, and your last one should we make it that far is worth five big points. There's no five. No penalty for missing five big ones. We go to Adam first because we're tied. I'm glad they switched this way. It's an even ten points because before it was one, three, and five. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Definitely make it an even ten. Come on. Um. Two, six, and fourteen. Two, six, and fourteen. And Z-Man Zipper, you're tied with Adam. What are your lucky numbers? Three, eight, and nine. Three, eight, and nine. Okay. Eric? Good numbers. I was thinking three, six, nine. Gonna be administered by Come on, second, second. Give me one more time. Get low. Get low. <laughs> we're, just, we're hitting all the hits today. <laughs> right? It's just becoming karaoke night with Schmodown in the background. main characters does loki recruit to his side using his staff oh my god hawkeye Avengers. and i always forget his name but it's dr selvig he even had the first name i knew it was the guy that helped thor and yeah. he was a doctor i yep. just didn't yep. know his name question you selected number two roxy what does that correspond to the category is the hobbit Ooh, I'm out. What TV personality and well-known Tolkien fan makes a brief cameo as a Lake Town spy in the desolation of Smaug? Mm. Uh, I, uh... Stephen Colbert. Wow, he's really feeling the What? There. And he got it for two points. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wasn't sure if Adam was just totally. Uh, I, Stephen Colbert. I've only watched the Desolation right, Eric, of Schmaug once. Again, once. Schmaug. Eight. Your three-point question, and that corresponds up here. The answer to two. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> These were made even before the Hobbit movies. <laughs> Go ahead. And your question. No. For three points, the title "The Two Towers" refers to which two towers, according to the movie? Isengard and Mordor. Is it different in the books? I've never read them. Isengard and the Eye of Sauron. That is incorrect. Looking for Orthanc and Baradur. Orthanc, Orthanc and, and Baradur. These are hard questions. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, mm, right, so I've never even heard of those towers. Gotten it right, considering you just made those words up. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with them. I agree right, so with Eric right there. He just made those words up. <laughs> Rachel, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Adam to answer either his three and or his five. You selected number nine. I answered that so confidently too. And right. That corresponds to the world you spun away from in round number two, DC. And your question. And? This actress played Martha Kent, Superman's adoptive mother, in 2006's Superman Returns. How many Jitsu Eves do I have left? Uh, you have one left. So five, four, three. Jitsu Eve. I have a feeling you'd spend it. 
This actress played you just want me to start recounting? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You might want to just do that. <laughs> I think I'm thinking Smallville, but Annette O'Toole. Can I look for Eva Marie Saint? Oh, cool. Sorry. Eva I... Marie Saint is the actress. What yeah, happened I... there? Did you notice that weird cut? Yeah. Died. I don't know if that was us or that was them, but eh. But just leave it be. Adam. Needs to get either his three or his I, five I see. I haven't seen. I need to watch that movie again, but it's so bad. So you selected number six. The category is heroes. Okay, okay so that could be anything. Thor okay. Fight against Loki at the end of the film. How did Thor keep him on the bridge? Didn't he pin down his cape with Mjolnir? He knocked him down and put Mjolnir over his chest. And yeah. your winner. Well done, Adam. It's been so long since I've seen the original Thor. I didn't, I couldn't remember. I knew he either placed Mjolnir on top of him or like on his clothes to where he couldn't get away. Okay, that. Yeah, I just I remember. No, I'm, I'm thinking of Ragnarok when he throws the hammer and he holds Loki. Wait, waiting for it like this oh, when he's disguised back. as old and he's just sitting there holding him it's like <laughs> nothing will stop me old near from coming back to my head not even if your face is in front of it right that was honestly a great scene <laughs> I, I yield we are gonna have an interview with both well well done that wasn't a, a good was match. match like it was honestly it was closer than i thought it was Zip, gonna be zipper has nothing to hang his head about What's up, movie trivia no. showdown fans jen sturger here but with eric zipper <sighs> I feel like you came out in this mood and you're still in it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tired, Jen. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired That's of what it really a, seemed like. a record that doesn't reflect how good I am at this game. It really doesn't because I'm, you have so much knowledge, especially when it comes it's to It's just the YouTube. people, the, I mean, uh, his opponents are just now that much better. Like, Honestly, I'd almost put it, like, I forgot who this. they said it was well, in the singles league. I mean, as but I feel like Eric Zipper's, like, Kaiser, that intro uh, kind of guy, like, if you can't... Teams, uh, if they can get through Eric Zipper, play. they're a good yeah. competitor. How's that, how's that because working out with that whole... You're thinking of JTE. Thing or whatever yeah. Because JTE yeah, was always kind of like that gatekeeper. All the new people they put... Like when Bibbs came uh, in, mm -hmm. he I had well. an incredible first match in, against Andrejko. They both did. First match. I think that when Anser got everything right, set the singles record in the first match. Then they had him join the horsemen. Who do you want next? Well, you know, and his next match, they put him up against JTE. Like, oh, this is just going to be an easy match. Somebody in this and game JTE that, beat like, him. If I'd beaten Adam today, I would have felt really good about it because I respect but, him. Yeah, they always he's like at what he does. He was always kind of so, like that guy that they would really put against like new competitors to, to test Haley against. Fouch and the Scream Queens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, Haley and I, were friends. We were on a team together in Anarchy uh, last year, and uh, I think that would make me feel better going forward because it's so weird because someone stuff. had told me that you were that you were like kind of talking behind the scenes that you wanted to take on mike or chance which i think is a little crazy personally oh i definitely want to take on mike and chance corruption is my ultimate goal trust me you just feel like you might They're need another goal. another win or two under your belt before you feel comfortable with that well, i wouldn't necessarily put it that way but it wouldn't <laughs> hurt <laughs> Wouldn't yeah, hurt. Wouldn't hurt. Well, tough loss today, man. Sorry. Yeah, you're telling me. Oh, we'll get you back in there. We'll get you back in there. All right. Chin up. All right. Thanks. And I'm back with a very happy Adam Hlavik. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that smile. He looks, he's, he's got, got, he's got, got a million dollar smile. Uh, this he is looks really like really it's a guy match. I could hug. Like he, he's, yeah. he's a very huggable person. He's like a very chill, good dude. Oh, this is this feels good. I feel good about this. I feel pretty confident about about winning this. Isn't it? Some days that's just how it goes. Hey, absolutely. And in this morning, I was I'm always a little stressed before I do these because you never know what what's gonna get thrown at you. Right. Right. It's like usually when I assume with the whole like production setup, it's just like a lot of pressure going going on people. Thoughts on Zipper and how he played out there today? Did great. Uh, you know, I didn't really know too much about him as a performer in this match, so it. I I love coming into this and not knowing what to expect, 
and everyone thinking. So you don't kind of like overthink it. It, it, it makes the match is that much and more it's fun. It's so funny to come mm-hmm. into this like, and when you don't know what to expect from your opponent. It's just like it's okay, be landslide sometimes. Oh, yeah, like, we well, you should never. Instead of when like when the Kalinowski Smets match happens, there's going to be so much tension in there. Oh my god, that's just going to be. And he handled DC moving in pretty well. He did get those steals on you though. He did, and that's my fault for not going with my gut. Both of those questions, Watchmen. I I agree 100. percent Both Superman returns and Watchmen. That one's going to go Mike extra Dad. innings. I, I don't so think we're going to see a, a Smets na- knockout Always. this time. So no. I, I think those two I mean, are going so to many, fight, and they're right going, right going to fight like for about seven hours. Oh, so God. That's, being paved I think that's a little over-exaggerated, man. I don't know. I think one of them is going to get the better of the other. Maybe not. Any in the game, right now. but mentally, yeah, I'm, where I'm someone's gonna slip going to slip up. the trenches and just going straight through the fire. I think that game is, that match is going to be a mental match. Those were two 100%. incredible opponents, and I feel very. See, I, got I don't know. Them. I think there's uh, going to be a lot of smack of talk was, between Kaiser so and Mike. So I don't think Smets is going to so say much. I think he's he's just ready to get in the ring. Right. As you saw, like in his inside showdown with Ken live in Houston. Nice. I love that. He's I ready. I love that you are just ready to but get back prepared in for Mike. Congratulations I'm again. excited to see and, uh, Adam Havoc hopefully go further. Thank you. Because oh, yeah. he is a nice guy. I I felt like Eric had more of a, like, Adam came in all like, hey, I'm just here to play. Where I felt like Eric came in, I need to play. And I feel like. I, I need to win. Like, he, he needs a win. He does. And that's why, like, I kind of, I was rooting for him. I really like. I thought Eric was gonna end up taking it just because he he needs that win, and so he's kind of came in that mindset like I'm here to play, where I felt like Adam was coming in like, hey, I'm here to kind of. I don't want to say rejoin the league because it has been a while since his last match, correct? Yeah, I think the last time we really saw him was the free for all. Yeah, so I mean, it was kind of a little ways out there compared to like. An actual match match. Yeah. And not I, something on that caliber like the free for all. I'm wondering, like, every, it's the world's he finest match. Like that, but he came in with the wrong attitude. Yeah. got to come to play for the belt, and I would never manage. I don't know if he had another match after the, until the free for all. I'll, yeah. I'll have to look back in the season. Well, nonetheless, it felt like Adam was coming into this kind of like, I'm I'm just here to try, kind of like get back into it, you know? Like, yeah, get into it, have a good time, and just play the game. Zipper, I want to give a big shout out to so, here in the studio, all of our hardworking crew, the camera operators, everybody. Yes, thank you to all the crew at the Schmodown. And I also want to thank my incredible co-announcer, Roxy Stryer, working all the kids out there fine. Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. I'm merely Mark Makes Ellis it simple. Yeah. Live, if you can get the name, because, you know, sometimes someone, someone will just steal the name just for the heck of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'd have to be like Roxy <laughs> underscore Stryer. Or Roxy Stryer for real. Or Roxy or the real Roxy Stryer. Because that's what a lot of people have to do. I'm merely baby carrots, and we'll see you next time. Aw, baby carrots. <laughs> Roxy's little catchphrase there. Oh, oh, oh Whitney. Hey, Mr. Beauty. Mr. Beauty. Hey, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Love Spooky Claim. Well, he, he calls Bibbs Mr. Mr. Beast. Uh, I'm Brendan. Ah, I'm okay. Oh, you're the kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's yeah. nice to meet yeah. the kid. Total pleasure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, no, I just so want to say I'm a huge fan of the team. I've watched all Spooky Claim's matches. Mm. I've been pulling for you. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 Mr. Stop, Beast stop, is a great mentor. Stop. Me? Stop. So you're a big fan yeah yeah no i love okay. your team and just lately mr beast has been giving me so much okay advice i want to know who the cardboard match, cutout is yeah. oh uh, in the background is the rock advice is that the rock yeah, yeah they they it's have uh, it's the rock at baywatch and they have the zach okay. efron I have one that same computer monitor <laughs> <laughs> that acer okay. one so that no that is definitely not the rock no no no, no. that oh no, that's the guy from uh twin peaks ah uh, okay oh, oh. cancel we don't want to get into that just yet because that's going to be the next episode but final thoughts on this match, Kyle. Uh, hard fought. Tough questions for Zipper. He just he just fell short today, and a- Adam had the edge. Yep. Uh, I mean, he, I think he needs to get out of that mindset he's in. I mean, he wants to play, but I think he just needs to get, like... He needs to get out of his own head. Right. He, he's very just, like... He's trapped just, in it. Just whatever. He's tired. He's tired to lose. 
But you you gotta focus up. You you, you gotta focus on the game. It's the only way. Mm-hmm. You know, just Eric, just take a step back, study up some more, and then come back and just kill it. Yep, it's, that'd probably be the best way to go about it. So, uh, thank you guys for joining us today on Reactions on Tap, your favorite place for beers, booze, food, or whatever we feel like watching today. As always, uh, here, let's put up these since we didn't put them up in the beginning. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, I'm Jeff. And I'm Kyle. Kyle. You can follow us at our little tags here. I'm at the Mighty TH90. He's I at, am the at the K Wolf. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and also, if you would, give us a like. We'd really appreciate it and it helps support the channel a lot. Uh, I guess we're going to take a short little break and we'll be back at it with another video here in a little bit. So thank you again so much for watching and we will see you soon. Take care guys. Later.